If you're tired of working day in and day out, trying to find new customers, chasing leads, doing whatever work comes your way, and never getting to earn what you're worth. You do it because you love the work, and you're passionate about serving older customers and their families. We get it. But what you need is more of the right customers for your business, and more income for you and your family, so you can grow and help more people in your community. Well, you're in the right place, because this is Booming Your Bottom Line. Hello and welcome to episode 62 of Booming Your Bottom Line. I'm Aaron Murphy and with me as always is Mark Hager. This week we're kicking things off with the Grammys. No, not your Grammy, although I'm pretty sure she's very sweet, but we're actually talking about the Grammy Awards that were on this past week. The interwebs have been abuzz this week with the Grammy Awards and in some circles, like our own colleagues and news feeds, one event in particular, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. You see, Stevie was giving out the award for Song of the Year, and after he opened the envelope, he actually made a joke. He said, you can't read it, you can't read Braille, and it was great. (laughs) (laughs) And although you have to admit it was funny, it actually led to another statement from him. Before he announced the winner, he said, we need to make every single thing accessible to every single person with a disability. Yeah, so it may seem a little odd that we're, you know, making a big deal out of this, but this is going somewhere important, and I promise you're going to learn some very interesting things today if you'll stick with us. You see, just like we talked about a few weeks ago, when we're talking about how the idea of accessibility is spreading, this live onstage event, it supports that. The, the mainstream media will follow celebrities. I mean, we see people like Susan Sarandon, Kevin Costner, and, and others talking about getting older, caregiving, living with an illness, etc. And when people like that, who are now 65 years old or so, start speaking this language for us with much larger megaphones than any of us own, things are moving in the right direction, right? They're picking up their pace. Okay, I want you to listen to this part very closely because it's really important. Do you remember the projectors back in school? Remember those little knobs you had to turn to get something in focus? Well, that's what's happening right in front of our eyes. Folks, the conversation is changing. It's finally coming into focus. It's changing from being about aging to being about abilities and accessibility. It's gaining clarity towards a language and direction discussing ease of use and access for all. Now, if you're a boomer, be proud because you all are making a mark in our global society yet again, just like you have done every decade since you've been a teen. I mean, holy cow, this is huge. It is. You know, Mark, I have to say I'm glad you didn't do your Donald Trump impression on that (laughs) huge comment. (laughs) I watch Fallon, so he's so good at it. Anyway, (laughs) look, when an icon takes that stage and makes a statement like that, when they get up there and take a stand for people with all disabilities, is a clear indication of, those tides and they are a changing. Mm-hmm. You just got a glimpse of where the ship's being steered and you need to be ready to take advantage of the opportunity. So let us throw some statistics out there for you today. It's a new way to look at this and you might not have thought about it yet. As of 2014, there are about 318.9 million people in the US. Oh. At that time, 12.6% of them had a disability. That's 40.2 million. That means they're living with hearing or vision or cognitive, ambulatory, self-care, independent living disabilities, just like Stevie Wonder. Of those, 40.7% were over 65. That's 16.4 million, or 5.12% of the total population. And that number is just going to keep going up, right? As the baby boomers continue to age, it's going to climb. And I mean quickly, statistically speaking, this is going to be exponentially different in just a few short years. Those facts are pretty staggering. I mean, just in terms of older people, that means there was already evidence that 16.4 million people had some type of need, that they needed help, whether it was home remodeling products or even assistance so they can live full quality lives on their own terms. And of course, those people, they're scattered all over the U.S. with the highest concentration in the Mideast to the Eastern U.S. But all things being equal, that means that if you lived in a city with 40,000 people, over 5,000 of the people in your community would be living with one of these disabilities. And 2,051 of those would be over age 65. Let that sink in. 
Now, as an aside, and here's some food for thought, what if you could translate those services such as remodeling or design, maybe even some of your products, to serve people of all ages? That means nearly 13% of the population that we were just talking about. Universal design translates regardless of age, right? UD is completely couched around the idea of better for everyone. Now, I know Aaron mentions when he speaks on stage about that spec house with the pull twist knob for your bathroom sink. It's not any easier for our five-year-old to use than it is for our 85-year-old grandmother to use. There are dozens of things like that in every single spec home that's been built in the last hundred years that are not ready for this demographic upheaval. Just something to think about. Yeah, totally true. So how does this impact you? Well, let me ask you something. Did you know adult diapers are the fastest rising paper product being purchased? It was a $7 billion industry in 2013, and it's on track to triple in 25 years. Mm. So when adult diapers are outpacing Kleenex, printer paper, isn't that telling us something? That's a point of inflection on a curve that is taking us in a whole new direction, somewhere we've never been as a nation. Are you ready? So let's say that you're a home remodeler and you're looking for opportunities that are coming down the pike. Well, let's suggest you pull Wayne Gretzky and go where the puck will be. And I think we'd all agree he was one of the best at mm -hmm. planning ahead. So he was in the right spot at the right time. So think about this. As of 2013, out of the 44.7 million people 65 or older, 49.7% reported doctor-diagnosed arthritis. That's over 22 million. Yeah, and we're seeing that number grow right before our eyes. So how does that affect the number of no-step entries, rocker light switches, lever door handles, or pull-down cabinets you install or spec if you're a home builder, remodeler, or an OTPT that is helping an older consumer and their families? I just saw a great post on LinkedIn last night of a very discreetly designed and functional roll-in zero-threshold shower with a ceiling track lift. It's starting to happen all around us. Yeah, it is. It's happening all around us for sure. Mark, I've got really... Uh, three quick and perfect examples of work I've done or know that a national thought leader has done. Uh, Louis Tenenbaum, we're actually going to have Louis on the show here in a few weeks based on his schedule, but um, they're projects that have nothing to do with aging. Okay, Louis's first remodel as a general contractor that got him into this space was in 1988, and it was for a, a kid, his Mom did not want to have to help him bathe. He was like 12, and she wanted to teach him to be independent, even though he was disabled. Or I've had a client where they wanted to give their house to their daughter as an inheritance. She was only four years old, but she had Rett syndrome. So we had to convert the garage to a master on the main floor so she could inherit the house. Or I've had a client who is 60-ish, um, but had a really strange disease called, disease called arachnoiditis. And it's not about spiders, it's a swelling of the spinal column. And we did have to redesign the roof trusses so that he could get a ceiling lift all around the house. But when I met him, I mean, the guy at six foot three, 215 pounds, was using that top track of the spec shower door. That thing's held in the wall with drywall screws. And yeah. he was using that to brace himself while he was showering. So, guys, these projects are all around us. Are you in this game yet? Correctly? Do you know how to reach, connect, and engage the right way with a boomer consumer or their adult children, their caregiver, their support system? Do you know where they are physically and online? Do you know how they buy? Do you know what they look for? We've been studying these things now, Mark and I, combined for probably over 25 years. And that's why Booming Your Bottom Line is here now. Up to now, you might not have put a lot of thought into this. But right now, here today, you're not hearing the opportunity is huge. You're getting a picture of what this really can mean for you right now in your community. And how many people statistically are going to be present looking for a solution to a need one that your business could satisfy. Right, exactly. And you see, what we're saying is this. You've got the perfect storm to fuel your company's growth, and it's barreling down on you, right? 
All you have to do is open up your sales and catch the wave. Of course, not every company is going to be the one that steps up and does that. Not everyone is going to be willing to learn what they need to learn and do the hard work to make it happen. But for the few that do, huh, you're going to see some local businesses go from doing a million dollars in sales to 15 or 20 million, right? You're also going to see plenty of companies go from 200,000 in sales to a million or more. There's a lot of opportunity here. We're talking about life-altering success, not just in your personal finances, although you know, with those kinds of sales, you're definitely supporting the lifestyle that you want and are able to fund the philanthropy that you want to do. But the older people and the families that you would be helping with a business like that, isn't that exciting to think about? All those people whose lives you touch with your work, man, that gets me fired up. <laughs> Listen. If you have a well-established business already serving older customers with accessible home remodeling, I want you to hear this. Now is the time to act. Now is the time to get your bearings, put the oars in the water, and get to work to scale up your business, starting now versus starting in the next year or three years. It could make the difference between more work than you can handle simply by referrals and inbound calls from qualified leads, or if you wait too long and you'll be duking it out with every other person who isn't the leader. And yes, if the leader isn't you, someone else in your community is going to step up and do it. That's a fact. Somebody has to. We want it to be you. Yeah, we do. Look, if you're ready to reach and serve your best boomers and older consumers and do it better, get this right so you can be out in front and get the lion's share of your local market and much more revenue with less projects because you found the right clients. Mm -hmm. We want you to get in touch with us, okay? We've taught many others already. CEOs, staff members, remodelers, OTs, builders, PTs. We've taught them everything from SEO and web design to marketing languaging and messaging that resonates with their preferred clients. We've taught them how to not buy advertising, but to rather educate instead and become a trusted advisor by sharing education. They've learned to make more money by doing less projects. Some of them have gotten free time back to spend with family. We've taught them to work smarter, not harder. And we can do that with you too. Just go to byblive.com forward slash ready and answer a few questions for us about your own business. Once we get that, we'll get in touch with you to schedule a 30-minute strategy call, and that's free to you. During that call, we're going to talk with you about your business specifically. We'll give you some ideas you could use right now, starting today, to help your business move forward and accomplish your dreams and goals. And if we see that you're really serious about this opportunity to become the remodeler, the OT, the PT, that consumers prefer, if you're really ready and you prove that to us, ready to take action and get that lion's share of the remodeling customer, we're going to tell you that how you can work with us. So don't wait. Go to byblive.com forward slash ready. We'd love to hear from you. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and that you've heard something that's inspired you or helped you to take a step closer to the future that you want with your business. Thanks for listening. And until next time, be well, be bold, and boom your bottom line. <laughs>